And here we go out to the field again today. You got one planter right, right there. And the other one is, I think it's in this field that I field cultivated yesterday. I don't know if you can see it. It's back there a ways. And then I'm gonna be going right across the road over here to this field. We'll be going shortly. Get up here into my office. Just going up to this field over here, you're gonna take it a little slow going up there. Give the tractor a little chance to warm up before we run her wide open. Should get quite a bit of corn planted today. Today, tomorrow, the next day. They were talking on the radio about this may be a record, a record time frame for getting corn in the ground. Everybody's going, except maybe up in far north Iowa. Been pretty wet and cold up there. They got a lot of snow here the last week or two. I've gone around the edge of the field and done the headlands and well I think I need to make another pass or two on that headland but now we set our track and we're making the first pass down through the field we're going at 10 degrees that's that's north we're going 10 degrees to the west opposite of how the anhydrous was put on and it used to be not so long ago, you would just pick a spot out here on the fence or something that you could see and you'd line up with that and you'd keep your eye on that to keep going straight down through the field as straight as you could. But now with GPS and auto steer, I can just sit here and look behind me or do whatever and this thing will drive perfectly straight down through the field. Watch a movie or something. But we'll get up here to the north end and then we will we'll start filling out this corner or what's what's gonna be a corner. We'll fill all we'll fill all this out and then and then we'll go over that way and do the rest of the field. I actually need I should go another round on this headland. something worked on, you need your car worked on, you needed some mechanical type of thing fixed, that's where you took it, kind of before big garages and everything showed up everywhere. And then when I was growing up, if you can see that grain bin, I can't even see it on my viewfinder here, it's right over in here. And across the road, that's where I grew up, used to have a, used to be a house and a barn and corn crib and some little grain bins, lots of hog houses, used to raise lots of hogs. And that is where I grew up. Used to be, used to be trees and all kinds of stuff over there. It's all gone now. The house was, was, the house was pretty old and the farm got sold 
years ago and then my parents built a new house. One thing in that house that I grew up in back there, I, I turned around here in the field. Back when I was a kid, my cousin and I, my dad was burning a bunch of sticks, branches and stuff one day and he had gone in the house. My cousin and I were, I don't know what we were doing, we were playing around and we were just burning ends of sticks. Well, long story short, there were some fuel barrels. There was a 500 gallon gasoline barrel, a 500 gallon diesel barrel, I think a, maybe a 200 gallon gas barrel up on, up on a stand and a diesel barrel as well. And by golly, we discovered that if you put gasoline on the end of your stick, it burned a lot better. And it worked for a while until one time went over there and I guess my cousin's stick was a little too hot on the end. I remember he just touched it on the ground and it engulfed in fire. Fire departments from all over came to try to put out this fire and eventually she blew up. Had a 500 gallon gas barrel, I think it blew up. And then there was a thousand gallon LP tank not far away and that sucker blew up. There was a mushroom cloud that could be seen for I'm not even sure how far away. They saw it a long way away. I have pictures of it someplace. The whole place was just engulfed in fire for a few seconds. The side of the house, which was sat quite a ways away from the fuel barrels, it was all black. All the yard was black. Trees were black, dead. Some trees were dead. Had a lawnmower that was parked right next to the LP tank. There was nothing left of it. It's really a wonder that nobody got killed. I can remember stories people were saying not too long before that an LP tank had caught on fire someplace and I think it spun around and round and round and wiped out like 10 acres. I think I remember that right. It was a long time ago. And this one, it caught fire. They kept trying to put it out. Eventually they let it go. I don't know if they ran out of water or what, but it was quite an ordeal for a while. And I believe what happened is the LP tank shot straight up in the air came back down. I remember there's a pretty good crater in the ground. Like I said, it's really a wonder that nobody got killed. I know there were some just volunteer fire department people standing within feet of the LP tank trying to put it out and if it had blown up with them standing right there. So if you get nothing else from this video kids, don't play with fire and gasoline. Field all finished up here before too long. 
just got to go over to right over in here. Probably, I don't know how many more rounds I have to go. And they're going to get shorter as I start closing this in. I'm ahead of the planter by several hours, so I may get to take a little break and then go back out. I do have to get my daughter from school later on this afternoon. It doesn't take too long to go get her, and then I can go back out after that if I need to. Or I could just go out early in the morning, for that matter. I have our other kill cultivator right up right up there, if you can see it. I can't tell on this viewfinder. Anyway, they're going in that field. It'll be planted soon. And my dad's planting in a field right over there, somewhere. He should be getting over here to this field shortly. And I don't know where I'm going next. Well, that planter hasn't made a whole lot of progress today. They're having some kind of a software issue. They came out from John Deere to try to figure it out. And I, I, I don't think they made much progress. Anyway, I'm heading down this way about, uh, it's about, I don't know, it's three or four miles, pretty much straight ahead, but I gotta go that way, that way, back this way. Takes a little while to get there. And that field will take a good, uh, good part of my afternoon. And then I gotta go get my daughter from school. And that'll probably be it. I don't think I'll probably have to go back out after that. I'm quite a ways ahead of the planter. So we'll get down there. Well, it'll be just a few seconds for you guys. If you watch my videos in the fall for fall harvest, I was driving the tractor that now is in front of the planter. And that tractor would go down the road. It'll go down the road about 30 miles an hour, 31, something like that. This big Trax tractor. You can see that top speed's about 22 on this tractor. It takes a little bit longer to get where you want to go. But we'll get there. Everybody's out planting corn today. Well, not everybody. A lot of people. That's one of Stein soybeans. Planters going right there. And we'll be arriving at this field shortly. This isn't really a road and not really a driveway. I guess it's basically more a driveway than a road. Although I think technically it's a road. One house up here. And that's where the road ends. But I think technically it is a, a county road or something. Very narrow. So again, got done going around the edges of the field. Pretty good sized field. I gotta get way over there. And I've got three, three and a half hours to do it before I go and get my daughter. I think I'll get it done just in time. If not, I'm gonna have to call somebody and have them go pick her up. But I think I'll get it done, should. So just cutting across the field, making our angle and filling in the corner like before. field all finished up. I gotta go get my daughter here pretty soon. Take me a little while to get back home. 
and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may go back out after getting her, or that may be it for today. I'm quite a ways ahead of the planner. I don't think you'll get this done today, but we'll get this back home and go from there. Well, that's that. We filled the planter. I'm gonna have to go get some more corn, but that's not a big deal. Be back at it again tomorrow. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.